Well, one question that I have for you is uh, what uh, what will make what do you think makes uh, your ETF products attractive to Asian investors? Uh, will they be as competitive as the other ETFs that uh, we can invest in right now? Um, of course, uh, Commerce Bank, our parent company, uh, stands for Germany, and of course, uh, you know, or probably most of you know. Uh, what's in the DAX index, you know, yeah. all the well-known brands. And that's exactly what we decided to bring to Asia. We were the first with the DAX ETF. There had never been a DAX ETF before mm -hmm. because uh, the German economy is still a powerhouse in, uh, in uh, Europe, mm -hmm. uh, uh, surprisingly strong. Uh, and I'm convinced that uh, sooner or later, rather sooner than later, the Europeans will solve all the problems that are around. And by the way, now with the elections in the United States, we saw a shift, of course, from the long-term investor to the rather trading-oriented investor. And I'm looking at you, Antoine. That's what you see in the turnover every day. Because ETFs are a unique vehicle to um, bet, probably I shouldn't use that word, to invest uh, on, certain, uh, on certain movements. And, of course, uh, Brexit, uh, as mentioned before, Brexit was one case, uh, Trump the other case, where you saw very high volatility in the markets and actually who bought um, after, uh, after uh, the Trump election would have made a lot of money mm. uh, investing in the German market. Uh, but beyond, and that was mentioned before, of course, ETFs are long-term vehicles or vehicles for a long-term investment. And uh, again, as said before, uh, I believe that uh, Europe is an interesting place to invest. Mm -hmm. And that's the reason why we decided uh, to list a DAX uh, or for, uh, for the time being or for a start a DAX and a dividend DAX. Uh, on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange, real quickly, a dividend DAX, yeah, um, talking about European experience in Europe. Interest rates are very low. They are actually negative. So when you uh, uh, put your money in a bank, you actually have to pay the bank for taking your money. And uh, people are switching, uh, retail investors, but of course um, the majority institutional investors, to products on dividend yield. And to give you an idea, the dividend tax over the last 10 years had an average um, uh, dividend yield of 4.12%, which is That's quite really a good. lot, yeah, which is something you don't get in the fixed income market anymore mm -hmm. unless you are willing to take very high risks.